with who gone in. Probably the place that we waste the most food in our kitchens is with our produce items. Those are your fruits and vegetables, and those really aren't meant to last more than about five to seven days from the date of purchase. So the more you know about the best way to store your fruits and vegetables, the longer they will last, and the fresher they will be, the less waste you'll have, and the more money that you'll save from throwing in the compost pile. So I'm going to give you some tips about some of the most common fruits and vegetables and where you need to store those for the longest, freshest life. The first thing you need to consider is how are they stored in your local produce department. If they're refrigerated there, they need to be refrigerated at home. If they're spritzed with water, you need to treat them like cut flowers, and I'll show you what to do with those. If they're not refrigerated, then chances are you don't need to refrigerate them at home. The ones that don't need to be refrigerated, that's kind of, you know, to your preference. If you like a cold orange or a cold grapefruit or cold grapes, then you might want to put them in the fridge. But they really can sit out on your kitchen counter, just like these are sitting here on this table today. Your apples, your grapefruits, your bananas, and you want to pull the bananas apart from the bunch because they do tend to ripen a little less quickly when you pull them apart. Your avocados and your cucumbers, those can all stay out on the kitchen counter. Tomatoes also can stay out, but they don't like to touch each other. So be sure that wherever they're sitting, they have some breathing room and they have some space around them from other things that might be on the counter. Now, as far as your berries, berries also don't need to be refrigerated. But again, if you like them cold, pop them in the crisper drawer. Or if you want to portion them out into Ziploc bags, they keep really well in the freezer as well. Now, let's talk about those things that are spritzed in the produce department that you need to treat like cut flowers. Hours. These are going to be things like cilantro and parsley and kale and bunch spinach. What you want to do with those is you want to cut off the ends just like you would with cut flowers. Put them in a glass or a jar. Put a little bit of water just enough for the stems to get some water. And then you want to cover them with a Ziploc bag just like this to create kind of a greenhouse effect and put them in the refrigerator. Now for your broadleaf uh, herbs like basil that I have right here, they actually like to be sort of in a greenhouse. They like to be humid. So when you cover them in a Ziploc bag, you wanna keep them out on the kitchen counter so that it will start to have some humidity inside the bag and keep them nice and happy. Now your asparagus, you can do the same way. You wanna cut those tough ends off of your asparagus and then you're gonna take them and put them in a glass of water, just like cut flowers. And then you can either refrigerate these or if you're gonna use them within the next couple of days, they can actually stay out on the kitchen counter as well. Now lastly, there's some vegetables that like to stay in the dark. That's gonna be your potatoes, your onions, and your garlic. Now you don't wanna store these together because if you put potatoes with onions, your potatoes are gonna sprout and you don't want that to happen. If you don't have a dark place to put them in your pantry, you can use just a plain lunch bag and put your potatoes, your onions, and your garlic in a dark lunch bag. And that will keep them nice and happy for their useful life. So for other tips about this topic, as well as other nutrition, health, and wellness, please visit my website at fitnessnutritionconsulting.com. And from there, you can link over to all of the social media platforms, such as Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. You'll also be able to follow my blog, and you'll see some of the great new nutrition programs that will launch on June the 1st.